The boy lay still, eyes shut tight, his breath shallow and ragged tore through him. Around his bed the village whispered prayers and fears, fever, they said, a deadly fever. Then a stranger arrived, tall and gaunt, with eyes that held the secrets of the ancient forests. This was the Baal Shem Tov, the master of the good name. He approached the boy, his steps silent on the wooden floor. His hand, gnarled and strong, rested on the boy's burning forehead. A hush fell over the room. The air crackled with unseen energy. The Baal Shem Tov began to pray, his voice a low murmur, a soothing wind through ancient trees. His words were not mere sounds, but vessels of power filled with the light of a hidden world. The prayer rose, a plea and a promise, weaving through the room, through the village, through the very fabric of existence. And slowly the boy stirred, his breathing eased. The fever broke. The villagers gasped, their faces a tapestry of awe and relief. The Baal Shem Tov smiled, a gentle curve of his lips. He had touched the boy's soul, had whispered to the divine spark within, and life had answered. This, they knew, was a glimpse of the sacred fire that burned within this man. A fire that would ignite the souls of generations to come. Israel Ben Eliezer, born in Okopi, Ukraine, 1698. His birthplace, a small village in the foothills of the Carpathian Mountains, a place where the veil between worlds felt thin. Orphaned young, he wandered, a solitary figure, seeking wisdom in the rustling leaves and the whispering wind. He immersed himself in Jewish mysticism in the ancient secrets of the Kabbalah. He delved deep, seeking the hidden sparks of holiness scattered throughout creation. He studied, prayed and meditated, his soul yearning for connection with the divine. The Baal Shem Tov emerged from seclusion, a beacon of light in troubled times. Jewish communities in 18th century Europe faced persecution and despair. They hungered for hope, for a way to connect with their faith on a deeper level. His teachings offered a path. He spoke of a God who was not distant, but present in every breath, every heartbeat. He taught that joy and love were not luxuries, but pathways to the divine. He emphasized the power of prayer, not as rote recitation, but as a heartfelt conversation with the Creator. Stories of his miracles spread like wildfire. He healed the sick, comforted the grieving, and guided lost souls back to their spiritual home. His teachings resonated with the common people, offering them solace and hope in a world often filled with darkness. He journeyed tirelessly. His message carried on the wings of the wind. From humble villages to bustling cities, he shared his wisdom, igniting a fire in the hearts of those who listened. He spoke of the importance of simple acts of kindness, of finding joy in everyday life, of seeing the divine spark in every human being. The Baal Shem Tov died in Mai 1760, but his teachings continued to spread, carried by his disciples and their followers. Hasidism, the movement he sparked, transformed the landscape of Jewish spirituality. It emphasized the importance of joy, love and direct experience of the divine. His teachings transcended religious boundaries, offering a message of hope and unity that resonated with people from all walks of life. He taught that the divine spark resides within us all, waiting to be kindled. He showed that true spirituality was not about rituals or dogma, but about opening our hearts to the love and beauty that surrounded us. Imagine the Baal Shem Tov walking among us today. What would he say to a world grappling with division, conflict and spiritual emptiness? He might remind us of the power of simple acts of kindness, of the importance of connection, both human and divine. He might urge us to look beyond the superficial, to find joy in the everyday miracles that surround us. He might challenge us to see the divine spark in every human being, regardless of their beliefs, background or circumstances. His message, timeless and universal, would offer a beacon of hope in a world desperately searching for meaning. Stay curious, stay informed, stay tuned to Era Shapers. <laughs>